In this video, I will be talking about illustrating geometric sequence. So let's take for example, we have this sequence. We have the first term 2, second term is 6, third term is 18, fourth term is 54, four, uh, fifth term is 162, and sixth term is 486. So it increases rapidly. And what is the pattern of this sequence? So to get 6 from 2, we can add 4. But if you add 4 to 6, it is not 18. It is 10. So that means it is not plus 4. But if, if you see a sequence from a small number and it cre increases rapidly, that is a hint that it might involve uh, multiplication. So to get 6 from 2, we times 3. To get 18 from 6, you times 3. To get 54 from 18, you times 3. To get 162 from 54, you times 3. To get 486 from 162, you times 3. So it is uh, constantly the same uh, procedure. It is multiplying 3 to get uh, the next number from the previous number and this is what you call the common ratio so this times 3 times 3 and so on that is common ratio it, it must be uniform if one is not the same then it is not anymore a common ratio and so common ratio is denoted by R so in this case it is equal to positive 3 so if a sequence has a common ratio it is what you call geometric sequence. Another example, we have this sequence. So from a big number and it gets uh, smaller and smaller rapidly. So 320 and 160 and 80 and 40 and 20 and 10. So probably it involves the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So um, to get 300 uh, to get 160 from 320 and uh, you need to divide by 2 but then but then in, in the sequence we don't involve div division with just simply multiplication so how are we going to write uh, times if you want to say divided by 2 so uh, divided by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. That is the same as divide by 2. So to get 300, uh, to get 160 from 320, you multiply by 1 half. Then to get 80 by 100, uh, to get 80 from 160, you multiply by 1 half. To get 40 from 80, you multiply by 1 half. To get 20 uh, from 40, you multiply by 1 half. To get 10 from 20, you multiply by 1 half. So that's it. And this is now the common ratio. So it's R equals 1 half. So since it has a common ratio, then it is a geometric sequence. Now let's have another example. So we have this sequence. We have 1, 4, 16, 64, 128, 512. And it is increasing rapidly from 1 and it becomes 512 in the 6 terms. So probably it involves multiplication. Maybe this is a geometric sequence. So let's figure out. So to get 4 from 1, you times 4. To get 16 from 4, you times 4. To get 64 from 60, you times 4. To get 128 from 64, you times 2 to get 512 from 128 you times 4 so observe that it is not uniform because there is one uh, pair which is not times 4 but it is times 2 so this means this sequence doesn't have a common ratio and so this sequence is not a geometric sequence Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, 
write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.